What is up YouTube, Tomo back with a brand new video here today and what we got today is episode number 2 of S&D Bomb Plant Spots God Spots as I titled yesterday's video but this is what this is a series that I've started and I'm going to do it for Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered but pretty much today we have Scorch, Scorch was one of my favourite maps till they put the bomb site here. It literally has annoyed me so much that if, I love the bomb site here, but I think they might have ruined the map by putting it here with the plant spot, like it being a plant spot there. But that, I don't know whether to include this plant spot in the video, but if you didn't know, you can actually plant the bomb there and come back to here and watch the bomb. And you can plant it right on this corner if I can get it. And plant it on this corner and stretch it so you can see it to there. So you can see it inside of blue, as my team call it. Some people call it deck, but uh, my team actually calls it blue. So, first off, the first bomb spot uh, I do have is actually just planting, just extending the bomb to here and planting on this little bit of a corner. What you want to do from this corner is you actually want to go back to the war, and it doesn't matter how you get back here, but I'm just, for the purpose of the video, I'm running straight straight down here and you can actually jump and see the bomb you can you can come behind here jump see the bomb and as you can see the chance of someone coming back here to try and kill you is pretty damn unlikely as long as you can keep checking that keep checking your cave and you just want to watch for this push here because if somebody pushes into drill room you could it could cost you um, but if someone pushed here and then came around and obviously checked, check that. That is spot number one for the B-bomb site on Scorch. Now into the next one. So into the next plant spot. Is it actually going to plant in the exact same spot as we just did? Just onto this corner. Oh, just onto this corner. If I can actually plant the bomb. Uh, just onto this corner right here and you want to try and extend it and push it out as far as you can. Just out to there, as you can see the bomb planted, and you can see the spot where we were before. But this is, if you have used that spot and you're thinking, how can I catch my opponent off guard? You can literally come back here, play this uh, bottom air room, as I like to call it. Come out, check the bomb, come back in, check it. And you can actually see it from back here, on the... If you can come around, Warren, come back. You can do something like that, I've seen a few people try to do that. Or you can actually play inside of this blue room, as I like to call it. Watch the back door. Come round, watch your door. Check the bomb. Come back. So that's another two off, two slash three spots uh, for the same, same plant spot. Another two spots that you could actually plant this bomb for on the B bomb site is actually right on this corner here. You can extend it out on onto this corner. If you extend it out onto this corner, and what I what I like to do is you can obviously you can see the bomb from here, but my one of my favourite ones is actually if you come round here and do this high wall run here. High wall run all the way to the top. Obviously you'll need you'll more likely need a teammate for this. But if you come round here, then high wall run under here, you can actually see the bomb if I didn't mess the warren up, but if you if you actually warren on top of here, you can actually see the bomb. So it's just you can see the bomb there. I've messed the warren up so badly, but you can actually see the bomb from up up there. If you warren all the way at the top, you can actually see that. There's no way somebody's going to look up there. I've even done it with propulsion on the CWR rail, so it's definitely a viable spot. But that is all the spots for the B bomb site. Now let's head over to the A bomb site. So coming over to the A bomb site. This spot that I'm actually about to use, you want to just plant, you want to extend it as far as you can out onto this corner. So about there. If you go to plant the bomb here, this is probably best to do in a 2 versus 2 or 2 versus 1, but you can actually do it in a 1v1 or whatever. Yeah, you actually want to play this corner after you've planted the bomb, and then come out, jump, and just check the bomb. Come back to this corner, and every every so, like 7.5 seconds or whatever, but if you can, you actually want to put a teammate all the way back here. So your teammate has got your back door, so there's no way you can die from your back. So if you're in a 2v2 or 2v1 or 2v3, whatever you're in, as long as you can check the bomb from this corner, that 
it, it's a predictable spot this, but if you've planted the bomb for where you've planted it, it's not really as predictable as what it would be if you were planted for another spot. So all you want to do is just keep coming back and going, going here. And obviously another spot that you can use is if you come over to this corner, you can watch your back, peek the bomb. You can do the same here. Watch your back and then peek the bomb. And also if you come all the way back here, you can actually watch your back and then peek the bomb. Another spot that you can use on the A-bomb site is actually planting on this left corner right here. If you extend it out on off this left corner right here, and if you just plant it, so say there, you want to plant it so you can see it from the bottom here. Just from down here, obviously it depends how you get here is up to you. But if you can, you would prefer to be in a 2v1 or whatever, but a 1v1, I'd just play this corner right here. As long as you can see your left side and you can see that door, you might have to snap onto some somebody or jump across or do something. But as long as you can see it from here, you can actually see both sides. You can come round, check the bomb and come back. It's probably easier to do if you've got rewind or something like that, just in case you get timing on someone coming through this door. But most of the time, if you plan for that spot, people won't normally ninja. The only place they can actually come from to get to the bomb is the wall run and the hallway. But if you're, if you're doing it quite early in the round, I'd expect them to come mid-map because they've probably pushed out B on defense. You can actually play this uh, room as well. You can play the wall run room, check the bomb, come round, and just check it right there. That's another spot you, you can actually watch the bomb from on this air bomb site. So that's all the bomb spots that I do have for bomb spots, plant spots, god spots, whatever you want to call it. Obviously this is the ultimate god spot. On, why? I swear my propulsion's broke. It's either that or my movement is absolutely awful in these past couple of days. Like there, how, why, why am I falling off? But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please not leave without leaving a like comment let me know if you enjoyed this video if you want to see some more of these types of videos on the other two maps in call of duty infinite warfare and Modern warfare remastered but as always this has been tomo please don't leave without leaving a like and a comment and subscribe if you're brand new and i'll see you guys in my next video